Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at a mental health facility in Columbia, South Carolina, where a trio of frauditors want to uh, exercise their freedom of the press inside of the mental health facility. Never mind that it violates HIPAA laws and everything like that. That doesn't uh, trump the Constitution. No, sir. But that still doesn't stop them from getting ejected from the building and standing outside like a bunch of idiots trying to film the place. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's up, everybody? I see Free Press here. Today we are at South Carolina Department of Mental Health in Columbia, South Carolina. Out with Career Killer Audits with a Z. And for officer safety slash no directives, we're gonna see if oh, looky what we've got here. We've got a trio of poorly educated, unemployable nimrods who think that shoving cameras in people face, people's faces is a patriotic act. But they'll find out today that, well, you can be kicked out of a building. So, let's continue on. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Uh, what are you here for? Let's see. Check out the public areas of the building. That's it. Sorry guys, I'm just yawning at this riveting content, so let's just go ahead and get to the good stuff. Many, many minutes later. Frauder, I do agree with you on that. It is up to the employees to protect the information within that building, which is a good reason why they're going to kick your sorry asses out the door. That way they can keep the information private. Because if they give you an inch, you'll take a mile and you'll continue to push and push and push until you can get into back rooms with patients and shove cameras in their faces. So, no, get the F out of here, go to a park, and annoy people out there with this same tired old narrative BS. Because out in that park, it is an actual public forum, unlike this, which is a non-public forum. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Um, call um, call um, because you can't record. You can't record this. Yeah, this is, don't touch my equipment. I'm not touching your equipment, but you, you can did. record. Call Beth Hutto. That's all public information, man. Yeah. Call Beth Hutto. Sorry, dude, but uh, no, you just can't walk into a facility that's protected by HIPAA and film every little document that you see laying around because, well, what if you get vital information from a patient that these people are actually trying to protect while you, while you are sticking your camera in places that it doesn't belong? And look at her. She's actually trying hard to protect those documents. So you must have ran across something that you shouldn't have. So just back the F off because this is, well, 
a mental health facility a nut job, and therefore HIPAA laws apply. Have you ever heard of HIPAA, dimwit? You got it? What's the, what's her last name starts with an H. Yeah, you want me to call her when I go back in? Yeah, I can't find her in Okay. Well now, Fraud uh, you staring at this poster doesn't change it one bit. Sure, it says that you're not allowed to film on the premises without any authorization from anybody in the building, but... I'm sure you're going to say that's unconstitutional because there are no statutes backing it up, no CFRs. Oh, but wait, look down here. There are statutes, South Carolina statutes, and CFRs, which are federal laws that do back that up. And for the sake of time, I'm just going to show you one, just one of these. This one right here. This one grants the uh, mental health facility by South Carolina law to protect the security of the facility, which is what they are doing. And you can argue that that law is unconstitutional all you want. But, oh wait, the Tenth Amendment grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the, under the Constitution. And filming is not exactly covered under the Constitution. And for that matter, neither are patients' rights, which is why that had to be created in the first place. You dingbats. Alright, gentlemen. Gotta get those views, right? We are First Amendment auditors. Is that our remit today? Journalist. Journalist, okay, excellent. Uh, what business do y'all have on mental health grounds today? Just recording them. Public areas. Public accessible. Fair enough. Well, uh, we, we are not fully open to the public, uh, so we're going to have to ask you to leave. The door is unlocked. I understand that. Uh, you are on notice that you are now trespassing on state mental health grounds. We're going to have to ask you to leave or we'll have to arrest you. Uh, well, now it seems clear by South Carolina laws and the fact that one of the heads of the facility are telling you that you're not welcome here would be apparent that you are now trespassing. But uh, that's my opinion. But I'm not as a and I am not an incompetent moron like these guys are. So let's carry on and see what happens. Who you? Well, not, not me. I'm not an officer. Uh, but I'm an attorney with the Department of Mental Health. What crime have we committed? You're currently trespassing on state mental health grounds. What was the first part of the gun grounds you said? State, right? Sure thing. Sure thing, yeah. Okay. okay. Alex Pate, I'm an attorney with the Office of General Counsel. Alex Page. Pate, Pate. 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 Hello. Hi. And is this a public building? Uh, this is a state building, yes. It is, not full, it is not open to the public, though. It's a non traditional public forum, but it is a public right. forum. Correct. Oh, so you're familiar with public forum? Or I'm well versed programs. in the law. Excellent, yeah. So, no, this is not a traditional public forum. Uh, That's so, what I just said, non traditional public correct. forum, but it is open to the public. No, no sir, it's not, it's not a traditional so, public forum. It's not open to the public. It's here for people with business at the well, uh, dude, you claim to know the law, but uh, from what I've been seeing in the, my own research, you clearly uh, are very incompetent with that regard. Department? You all have business with the Department of Mental Health? I do. Wait, what, what is your business? Today? I conduct an investigative story on the Department of Mental Health. Excellent. All right. Well, again, we're going to have to ask you to leave. Uh, officer, do, do you mind? Uh, if, if you can go ahead and contact uh, the lieutenant and, and ask him what uh, his next step is here. Right. I don't mind leaving. I'm not refusing to leave. I just want to have Name and badge number. standing before I leave. So you're saying that this I'm opposite is a state building, correct? which means that it's a public building. But you are saying that it's a non-traditional public forum. So it's not completely open to the public is what you're saying. Correct. So you're saying that it's restricted only to persons who have business before the state. Department. Okay. And who determines that business? Um, that would be the Department of Mental Health. Yeah. So if I just had a, a concern or questions, I couldn't just come here and ask questions. I would have to set an appointment. Do you have any mental health issues that need to be addressed? If not, then this is not the place for you. Therefore, you should 
Piss off, bozo. Or would I have to have an evaluation from someone to determine my mental health status before I could receive services or ask questions? You actually can come here if you're seeking treatment or seeking services mm -hmm. or you have questions. Certainly we're happy to answer those, but coming in here and reporting is not, not permitted. Okay. There, there are federal privacy laws that are in place here that would apply to Have you ever heard of the word oh. onus? Onus? Yes. Oh. I, I, I'm familiar with the term. Okay. And so under every privacy act that you have listed over here, as well as HIPAA, the onus is on the member of the agency to protect that privacy. So if there are documents that are out Yes, sir. And I'm, I'm engaging in that practice right, right. now by okay. trying to prevent so, you from recording. Listen. Exactly, exactly. That is exactly what he's doing. He is ex exercising that onus by kicking your sorry asses out the door to protect the information and the patients from idiots like you. Correct. So you can't you can't prevent me from recording an act of. So that's called private restraint. Is there a private information in this public lobby? Uh, absolutely, there is. Well, see. Well, I'm not going to point it out to you that would abrogate my duty to protect your privacy. In any event, we are asking you to leave. If, if you're not refusing to leave, then, then please leave. Otherwise, I, you are refusing to leave. I'm, I'm just further asking questions unless you like to step outside and continue I, talking. I, I, I'm happy to talk to you all outside. I'll if, step if, out here and talk. I'll, I don't speak for these two gentlemen. They're, they're grown men. Yeah. But I'll step out here and speak with you. But, sir, we are asking you to leave at this time. Yeah, I'll step out. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you as well. I have a feeling we'll be back at this place. Right. So, and if we'll actually step a little further out here. Um, the parking lot of our building also is not a traditional public forum as well. <laughs> and just to, to forestall that question, I'm sure it's coming. Yeah, yeah. Um, Well, they're outside, but they're not happy about it. But who cares? Go piss off now. I think we might need to get Richland County Sheriff's Office out here to. to uh, get I need for that. Our, our, our officers have jurisdiction here. Uh, but are you certainly feel free to are call. Are we in the county of Richland? Well, we are. Okay. Uh, they might have concurrent jurisdiction, but. Okay. And they seem to be better educated as well. Um, so. Let's see, so we have the South Carolina Department of Mental Health. Correct. You agree that this is a public building. The doors are unlocked. means the public can come in and ask questions. They come in for appointments. They come in to seek services. This is a public lobby. And then where the glass doors are, you can't go past that point unless you either have an escort. Hi, or Alex. Howdy, Tracy. Hi, I brought my statutes with me. Excellent. So what did you need? Your name. I'm Tracy LaPointe, Public Information Director for the Department of Mental Health. I brought, actually brought you down all the statutes that you'll need, both state and federal, for why you can't actually film on Department of Mental Health property. Well, statutes and CFRs and codes and everything like that. Well, uh, ma'am, they already saw, uh, at least one of them saw the uh, poster that had them listed on it. But you know what? That didn't stop them. And he's already said he's going to come back here and uh, try it again. So uh, I have a feeling this may end up in an ar arrest next time. We actually have our own set of our own statute uh, code in the law. I think it's chapter 44. Is that accurate? 4411-7. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so part of it is policy and procedure. Of course, it's HIPAA. That's a federal law. Policy and procedure is not law. Which the no, 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 no. HIPAA is a federal law. Mm -hmm. Which our policy is to protect that information. Yeah, and our efforts to protect our efforts to protect the public are part are part of state law. Mm -hmm. We have to do that as a state agency. But you cannot agency. you cannot do what's called prior restraint, which is preventing me from exercising a constitutional right. And an but it can to prevent you from filming patients. If there's one thing I hate, it's circular arguments. I mean, these guys are going to go in circles for the next 20 minutes at the very least. And, uh, well, it's not going to get anybody anywhere. And uh, these idiots are just going to be, well, 
still trespass from the building and uh, have to be content enough to film in the parking lot. I mean, it's still against uh, the codes, but at least you got them out of the building and maybe next time they'll get arrested. But not this time. But the point is, if you give these guys an inch, they'll take a mile. And, uh, well, uh, they weren't given an inch. In fact, they were pushed back a few inches. So uh, there's at least that. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one.